Hi everybody. I thought I'd hop on today and show you how I shred my cheese. Um, I'm going to make pizza tonight and um, I bought some cheese this past weekend and I wanted to show you how I do my cheese. Now I always buy my cheese in block. So I've taken a block of cheddar and cut it into chunks and I've taken a block or what was left of a block of Monterey Jack. Now I would do the same with mozzarella if I had mozzarella, but I don't have any of that. So I put them in the freezer for about an hour to make them a little more solid and a little more easier to, easier to cut. Um, and then I hook up my KitchenAid mixer. Oops, guess I gotta plug it in. I hook up my KitchenAid mixer and with a shredding attachment and that's what I use. So I like to put it on two. Now, I can mix them if I want, which I actually like to do, but today I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just um, go ahead and shred up my cheese. I have a container right here that I like to keep it in. I shred it right in the container that I use. This is just an old Tupperware container. function with my KitchenAid, so I fixed that. Okay, so that's the Monterey Jack. Now I will start the cheddar. Like I said, I don't mind if they're mixed. That's okay with me. like to leave that running for a little bit so it can get all the uh, shreds out of it so I'll just leave that running but anyway guys that's how I shred my cheese as you can see there's Monterey and cheddar um, both in there sometimes I mix them right together um, and I really enjoy that um, I've got Monterey Jack and cheddar like I said and I am gonna make pizza tonight but I don't care um, if that's what I use on it it doesn't have to be mozzarella as far as I'm concerned so anyway, um, I will hop back on when I get ready to make the pizza and show you how I put that together. Okay everybody, so I'm back on to make my pizza dough. Um, <laughs> use the timer. Um, okay, so this pizza dough, believe it or not, calls for a couple tablespoons of shortening. So I'm going to add those in. And a cup of scald milk. So I like to put the scald milk in with the shortening and that way it kind of melts the shortening just a tad. So let that be for just a little bit. And then once the milk has cooled to a decent uh, coolness, you know, it gets to a decent, uh, oh and also too, I just warmed my bowl up just a little bit in a pre preheated oven 
just to get it a little warm so it doesn't you know kill my yeast and, and that type of thing but anyway so what I do is I put the shortening in I put the um, cup of scald milk I wait until it gets to a decent um, you know cools down enough so that it doesn't kill my yeast and I'm gonna add the yeast this is a package of um, yeast and I wish I could show you but I can't it's liquid <laughs> package of yeast that I have added just about oh, a half a teaspoon of sugar and a quarter of a cup of water and I add the sugar to feed the yeast so if you do that you know that your yeast is good if your yeast doesn't froth up and foam up um, then that means your yeast is no good mine is good because it's a little frothy <clears throat> so I'm gonna add that right to my uh, milk mixture and so I've got all my wet ingredients in there already. So there's that. I mix it up just a little. Now I'm ready to, <clears throat> excuse me, now I'm ready to add my dry ingredients. This is a teaspoon of salt. And I add about a half a teaspoon of my garlic powder that I dehydrated. I will put a link below. This is my garlic powder that I dehydrated. I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of that and three cups of flour. And I just dump it all in and add it all at once. And I'm going to mix that up until it forms a dough. Now I do not, um, I do not uh, need my dough. I just kind of mix it up until it's, you know, uh, all mixed together. Everything's incorporated well. It smells so good because that warm milk with that garlic. Oh, it smells heavenly, guys. So I mix it up until it's a decent dough. The dough is warm. The bowl is warm. And my oven is now warm. So what I'm going to do, I do let the dough rest for 20 minutes. So I leave it right in the bowl that I mix it in. I, I know some people put it in a different container but I leave it right in the bowl that I mixed it in I'm gonna cover it with a towel and let it sit in my warm oven for 20 minutes then I'm gonna roll it out and I'll get back on and show you that okay everybody the crust has been in a warm oven um, for 20 minutes I've let it rest for 20 minutes so it's ready to go and now what I've done is I have a cookie sheet here that I've just put very little olive oil on it. Olive oil is the only oil I use, so you can use whatever oil you want, but I've got uh, very little olive oil on here, so um, I, you know, I don't want it swimming in the pan, otherwise my crust won't um, do its thing. Okay, nice soft crust. And I usually just go ahead and flatten it out. Now, I will tell you that um, I flatten it to a certain point and then I have this this awesome tool it's a little rolling pin it's a pastry rolling pin and got it from Pamper Chef and you can use either side but I tend to use the wide side and it makes quick work of pizza crust I'll tell you so I usually just roll out my pizza crust with my pastry roller it makes quick work of it the crust smells wonderful guys that garlic powder in it really makes a difference you can put um, Italian seasoning or oregano or you know whatever spices you want to in your crust um, I just like the garlic it kind of reminds me of garlic bread when I do that so I kind of like to make my crust go up the sides just a tad I've got a little bit of oil on my hands my fingers so that I don't there and all this is is just a regular cookie sheet okay that. Now I'm going to add my toppings. So I have probably about a cup of pasta sauce. Now normally I use my pizza sauce like I told you but um, I'm out right now. So I'm just going to add this regular jarred pasta sauce and add however much you want. I mean I like a I kind of like a little bit of a little bit of, you know, a, a, a bit of it. I don't want to have not enough uh, sauce on my pizza. I do like to have a little bit of sauce on it. So, 
actually think this could use a tad bit more. But I don't want to stop filming, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. It'll be fine. So there's my pizza um, sauce. Uh, oh, forgot to get the cheese, guys. Hang in there. So this is the cheese that I um, shredded earlier. And like I said, it's Monterey Jack and cheddar. And that's okay with me. I don't mind that. So here's the Monterey. Sprinkle a tad bit of that on. And the cheddar. I actually really like the mixture. And I forgot this in the um, refrigerator too, but I do have some Parmesan I'm going to I'm gonna get out of the refrigerator and put some of that on too. Already shredded Parmesan. Now I also am going to put a little different twist on it. I'm going to add some of my daughter-in-law's um, ricotta. My daughter-in-law is a cheese maker and so she, I don't know if you can see this, but it's applewood smoked ricotta. And I'm going to put a little bit of that on just daubs here and there. It's very good. It's just a soft cheese. I just put a little bit on here and there. Just to give it a little bit of a different um, a little bit of a different take on pizza. There. Okay. So there's that. Just gonna grab the Parmesan. You can bear with me, guys. Okay. Just a little sprinkle of this. So, like I said, I like to mix cheeses. You guys should try it sometime. It's really good. It, it gives it very different uh, different take on it. Okay, so on top of that, I've got a little bit of um, ground beef. Now my son's a farmer and he grows his own beef and this is from his beef. And you can cook it if you want to. I prefer to leave it uncooked, but I do put it very tiny amounts on there. To make sure that it cooks all the way through and I kind of keep my oven uh, I've got my oven heating up right now to 425 450 425 but just to make sure that the the uh, burger cooks all the way through I kind of keep it on 425 A sprinkle of that on there Now I did get some um, sliced uh, turkey at the grocery store this week, but I think I'm gonna leave that off. I'll just do the hamburg. These are some <laughs> chopped onion, and these again are from my garden. I chop them when I get them in the um, in the fall at harvest time. I chop them up fine and put them in bags in the freezer and use them so it's frozen. And these are frozen green pepper from my garden. So this is a green pepper, hamburg, and onion pizza. Okay, and I'm also going to end that with a little bit of Italian seasoning. Just going to sprinkle that on. Okay guys, there you have it. So, my pizza is ready for the oven. Hope you can see that. It looks delicious. So I'm just gonna stop the recording and when it comes out of the oven, I will let you see it, okay? Okay guys, so it's all cooked and out of the oven and it looks fabulous and smells so good. Look at the ricotta. The white cheese on there, that's ricotta. Um, 
So I wanted to give you a couple little, uh, tell you a couple little things about the pie crust, uh, the pizza crust. Um, my pizza crust recipe, uh, it usually makes, this is one cra uh, pie, uh, pizza crust recipe, um, and it, I put it in one pan. So the way that you can do this is make the full recipe and make, uh, you put it in one pan, that's a thick crust pizza, or you can put it in two pans and it's a little thinner. I personally much prefer uh, a thin crust. I just forgot to do it this time. So usually I cut the recipe in half and make one pan like this uh, with a thin crust. That's my favorite way of doing it. So, um, you know, you guys choose whatever you, um, you prefer. Um, you could certainly use a, a store-bought pizza crust for this. There's no reason why you couldn't. If you're really trying to save money, though, um, homemade is the way to go. I mean, think about it. This pizza probably cost me pennies. Um, I made my own pizza dough. I, like I said, I usually have my own pizza sauce. I just happen to be out of it today. But when you make that, that's pennies. The biggest expense to this would be the cheese. Um, my my son gave me the Hamburg. I grow the onions and the green pepper in my garden. Even the garlic that I put in the crust. That's my own garlic that I grew in my garden that I dehydrated and made garlic powder. Um, so I am, um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy my pizza now, guys. Um, if you have any, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up below. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so down below. And let me know what you guys do. Do you guys do homemade pizza? Do you do you prefer store bought? Have you ever tried homemade? Um, you know, uh, you guys with families out there, um, this would be a great alternative to ordering out, and it would save you tons of money. Uh, so let me know what you guys do and what your favorite things are. Um, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'm going to enjoy my pizza.